Uh, this is another case um, where you have the edge that's already in the correct spot, but the um, corner uh, is on the top layer. Um, here's a move that uh, this is the move that you do. Um, you have L prime, U, L. And there you go, that'll get you your pair. And from here, you can do a double flick and put it in the correct spot. Now, again, I'm not trying to go over all of these, um, so I'm not going to be showing you how to do that on the right um, because it's the same way. You really just have to um, position the pieces. Um, so let's go ahead and go to another example. Okay, this is the exact opposite of the case I showed you uh, earlier, where instead of the pieces being opposite across from each other, this is green, red, and green, red. They're um, the same here. Um, so, and again, they have to be in a straight line with the white off to the side. The white can't be in that straight line or it's not going to work. <clears throat> um, at this point, I don't think it matters what slot it's in. I just happen to have it in the correct slot here. Um, but I believe it can be any other slot <coughs> as long as the slot it's above is not currently occupied by a solved piece. So I would not recommend doing it on this slot because I already have solved pieces here. So I'm going to do it here because I do not have solved pieces. Um, here's what you do. <coughs> You're going to move the slot. You're actually going to move the base of the cube. You're going to move this slot to the back like so. Move it to the back. It, I'm sorry, if it's on the right, if this corner is on the right, you're going to move it to the back. <clears throat> then you're going to push, push the corner down and rotate 180 degrees and pull the corner back up. Now what that does is, <laughs> is it uses um, this move. It moves the corner downwards, rotates the edge from here all the way around here, and then it uses the, the pull-up move from the corner. Um, but the only problem is if you don't move an empty slot to the back you end up pulling out a piece. See this orange white is currently solved. Um, let me go ahead and do this part again. Um, if I don't do that shuffle to the back um, you'll notice this green uh, yellow sorry green orange pair when I do the move it comes out of the slot and like I said earlier you don't want to do that so you have to move this part to the back or rather um, on the same kind of layer as this is. So if it's on the left side you're going to move it back here. And if it's on the right side you're going to move it back here. Like so. Um, and there you go. There's your pair. And again you can simply apply that to the left side because it's the same situation. Um, just the moves are different. If you're wondering what to do, if you have a situation where the pieces are already paired up together, but they are facing the incorrect um, way, really, as far as I know, I'm not super amazing at solving the cube, but from what I can tell, um, what I would do is I would just simply break apart the pair. Um, now, if you have a situation where you put try to put in the edge, but... I'm sorry, you try to put the corner, but the edge comes with it, and you just can't seem to break it apart. Um, this is what you have to do. You have to make sure that when you move the corner down, like say you do the R, U, R, see that breaks it up. Because what I do is, is I make sure that I move the edge. I don't move the edge, and I move only the corner. So it breaks these two pieces apart, and then I can put it into the bottom layer, and now they're free. And then I can do the regular moves, which is this, there, and there. 